Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager, and you know who I'm here with, our friend Zias. Hey, Sylvia, how are you? Nice to be back. Tell everyone why you've been so excited about this week. Well, this week, you rolled out a bunch of new certifications, and I think that's awesome. Uh, I think it's long overdue. A lot of the Cisco engineers I talked to wanted more software in the uh, curriculum, and I talked to the people at the learning group, and they said they want to put it in, but they couldn't because they'd have to take more stuff out, and they didn't want to make it longer. So I think finally you've got the software certifications, the DevNet certifications. I think for all those engineers that are looking to take the next step in the career, this is an, an excellent complement to what they're already doing. So we know and love all those people that put in all the time to get the certifications. What would you say to anyone who is thinking, wow, this is a lot of work, or how can I figure it out? Where can I go for answers? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's never too late to get started. You need to really think about the future of your career. We're moving into a world where everything's moving to software. Obviously, you still need hardware platforms to run on things, but software is where the innovation happens. And so I'm not telling everybody out there to go become a developer, but you have to become a software power user. And I think the certifications can help them chart a path on how to get there in the most effective way. We are working very closely with all of the different business units and all of the people innovating across different technologies here at Cisco. It's the Cisco IoT takeover right now. It's all software now, right? It's, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And we have people that, like you said, are getting started now, and yeah. it's never too late. Yeah. The, the, in fact, the Started Now booth is impressive how many people there are. And I think I've, I've noticed a change in attitude, actually, from most network engineers. I would say uh, five years ago, this scared them to death. Two years ago, the eyes had started to, and I think now what a lot of engineers are starting to understand is I can't do my job without understanding software, without understanding how to automate, without understanding how to even make API calls. So if you're if you're out there and you're scared, don't be scared. It's not as hard as you think. I know a big chunk of the Cisco engineer base has never made an API call, but I'm telling you, it's a whole lot faster than writing those scripts and trying to like pull stuff out of you know show commands and things like that. So. It's a much better way to work. You'll save yourself a lot of anxiety. One of as many gray hairs as me, right? Because <laughs> I used to do those things. And uh, it's just, it's a more efficient way to do things. It's, a, it's the modernization of the network engineer. And so we talk a lot about the modernization of infrastructure. We need to modernize our skill sets, take advantage of it. So what I'm hearing from you is that you want to be really supportive to anyone that's out there that has questions and that is looking to get started. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the DevNet community itself is very self-supporting. I think even the website has a lot of great ways to get started. I think if you're, you know, just show up to one of these events or the local events, uh, there's really no shortage of ways to get started. The key is, though, you got to get started. So I know that you had a lot of this information ahead of time, and you had to keep it secret. Yeah. What was the, the hardest part about keeping it secret, and why were you so excited about that? Well, I, I just think that uh, the, the certification hasn't had a program, hasn't had a major overhaul like this in as long as I can remember. I, know, I mean, there's been... Uh, you know, smaller steps taken along the way, the programs change, the tests have changed, but there hasn't been a big addition to like this in a long time. And so this is maybe the rise of the architectural uh, ones. And so it was kind of tough to keep that in because I deal a lot, a lot with the Cisco community. You know, I write a lot for the public media. And uh, so I kind of wanted to get out there with it, but you know, I had to keep it a secret. So, but I was very excited. I was uh, thrilled to see it get main stage time. Uh, obviously, that audience is huge. You know, the, uh, a large portion of it Cisco certified. So I know from talking to people afterwards, it was very well received. And like I said, something they've been waiting for for a while. The question of the week we're asking everybody is developer or engineer? It's really hard to be an engineer today without being, like I said, a software power user. And it's hard to be a developer without having some kind of understanding of how the network operates and some of the engineering functions. Uh, I was talking with Terry Slattery just a little bit ago, the world's first out CCI outside the company, and he was even talking about how in his company, he's having to do a lot more software training, teach people Python and things like that. So, you know, they're, they're two, term, two sides of the same coin, I think, with, with quite a bit of overlap. Well, cheers to everyone who's getting started, yeah. and thanks for being and here. And cheers to this, uh, all these people taking the first step in their careers. So this is the way the industry's moving, and so you can get on the train like all these people, or you can be left behind. Right, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.